Hey, first graders, welcome back to chapter two of Frog and Toad Together. Today, I am outside in my garden because chapter two is called The Garden. And as I promised, I have a mystery reader here today. And she or he lives in my house and enjoys playing soccer a lot and goes to Penn Manor High School. So, do you know who it is? It's not Izzy because Izzy doesn't go to Penn Manor High School. So, mystery reader, come on over. Hey guys, it's Morgan. It's Morgan, my daughter. So, we're gonna read um, chapter two, The Garden, and we're gonna do something that you can do at home. We're gonna partner read. That means Morgan will read one side of the book and I'll read the other side. And you can do this at home with your mom and dad or your big brother and sister because sometimes kids like to read books that are a little bit hard for them to read, but reading with a partner makes it a little bit easier. So chapter two, The Garden. Remember, if you have a book at home, go ahead and get that out, and then you can follow along with us. Ready? Go ahead, Morgan. The Garden. Frog was in his garden. Toad came walking by. What a fine garden you have, Frog, he said. Yes, said Frog, it is very nice, but it is hard work. I wish I had a garden, said Toad. Here are some flower seeds. Plant them in the ground, said Frog. And soon you will have a garden. How soon, asked Toad. Quite soon, said Frog. The pictures are always the most fun part, right? Toad ran home. He planted the flower seeds. Now seeds, said Toad, start growing. Toad walked up and down a few times. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head close to the ground and said loudly, Now seeds start growing. Toad looked at the ground again. The seeds did not start to grow. Do you remember when we got seeds from the science fair and we put them in the cup and we took them back to our room and we watered them a little bit, and some of them started to grow, but did we have to yell at those seeds to grow? No. <laughs> Toad put his head very close to the ground and shouted, now seeds, start growing. Frog came running up the path. What is all this noise? He asked. My seeds will not grow, said Toad. You are shouting too much, said Frog. Those poor seeds are afraid to grow. My seeds are afraid to grow, asked Toad. Of course, said Frog. Leave them alone for a few days. Let the sun shine on them, let the rain fall on them, and soon your seeds will start to grow. That night, Toad looked out of his window. Drat, said Toad. My seeds have not started to grow. They must be afraid of the dark. Toad went out to his garden with some candles. I will read the seeds a story. Then they will not be afraid. Toad read a long story to his seeds. Somebody's walking by while we're in the garden. Do you hear my dog barking? All the next day, Toad sang songs to his seeds. And all the next day, Toad read poems to his seeds. And all the next day, Toad played music <laughs> for his seeds. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sit, sit. There's Izzy. Come here. Toad sit. looked at the ground. The seeds still sit. did not start to grow. Izzy, sit. What shall I do, cried Toad. These must be the most frightened seeds in the whole world. Then Toad felt very tired, and he fell asleep. You never know what will happen when you're reading outside together. Toad, Toad, wake up, said Frog. Look at your garden. Toad looked at his garden. Little green plants were coming up out of the ground. At last, shouted Toad, my seeds have stopped being afraid to grow. And now you will have a nice garden too, said Frog. Yes, said Toad, but you were right, Frog. It was very hard work. And that, friends, is the end of our chapter called The Garden. Tomorrow, we're gonna to do a chapter called Cookies. And I wonder if you know what I might need to do tonight to get ready to read the chapter on cookies. 
Well, that's it for now. Thanks for reading, Morgan. Of course. And before we leave, I just wanted to say, hey, Jadion, if you're watching, I really miss you. And I wanted to say hi to Lily and Layla and Tristan and Noah and Miles. I miss everybody. And please send me an email. I'd love to write you back. And on Monday, look on the Eshelman blog for some learning activities that you can have fun with. Bye, everybody.